Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is to um, kind of address the uh, fact that Google has decided that it would issue a um, Chrome OS called Chrome, Chrome OS Flex that, according to them, is a great add to an old PC. And this is an interesting uh, thing because it adds a little competition to um, to Windows um, from my viewpoint. I've seen a lot of you saying, well, you know, nothing, you can install Linux just as easily. No, you don't install Linux as easily. You have no idea how this is simple once you have the install on it. It just asks you if you want to have it on your PC and it, there's nothing to do except log into a Gmail account. The other thing is, this is way better than a Linux distro that is available out there because it is very lightweight, and I mean extremely lightweight. This thing took less than five minutes to install on an eight-year-old Toshiba. It doesn't take less than five minutes to install any Linux distro. So this is not a competition with Linux, really. It's really trying to get people, and you know, you're wondering, the fact that Windows 11 has a lot of uh, hardware that it's left behind, unsupported. You kind of wonder if a Chrome OS Flex isn't a response to that and saying, well, if you can't run Windows 11, you can run Chrome OS Flex probably on that machine. So here's a little demonstration that I have. This is on my Toshiba uh, PC that ran Windows 8, then Windows 10 for many years. I made a lot of the videos you see here with that old Toshiba. And now it's a full install that I did of the Chrome OS Flex. So this is a little demonstration video. I did a screen capture on the um, device itself. Gives an idea of the feel and the look. What's neat also with Chrome OS is it's just bare bones. That also is what is interesting in here. Linux is like Windows, bloated with tons of things nobody uses most of the time. Where there are Linux distros that are more simplified, it's still too much for most people. And it's Linux is dreadfully complicated for the average user. Chrome is much easier because it doesn't require really anything special. Everything's there, the apps are there, the, you know, the Google Docs is there the Gmail is there, and you got your Chrome browser, and this is what 99%, well, not 99, but 90% of other people do. They just want to have something that works that goes on the web, and that is all. Nothing more than that. That is all. So you see here, simplified operations. So I would say this is a much more of a threat to Windows than any Linux distro out there. And uh, the fact that it's so easy to have on any old PC. Um, you know, some might say, well, instead of buying a Chromebook, I could maybe turn my old computer into a Chromebook. And it runs fast, it runs great, and, um, you know, we'll see how the support goes for this. But personally, I think this is a way of Google saying, hey, all you uh, unsupported Windows 11 out there, come and taste the Chrome OS or the Chromebook style of uh, doing stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes through time. Also, it's going to be interesting to see if, because we have no idea, once it's official, once it's released, will they still keep it free? Um, I think if they want to have a chance, it has to stay free. So that's my two cents worth. If you uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.